Okay, confirmed. We're live streaming, Dawn. Thank you. Thanks everyone for your patience. We can get started. All right. Well, welcome today to the Historic District Commission meeting for August 10th, 2020. Uh, thank you all for being here. If you would please, uh, we're going to do the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance, pledge allegiance to, the to the flag of the United, United States, States of America, America and, and to the, to the republic, republic for which it, for which it stands, one nation, nation under God, God indivisible, with liberty, with liberty and justice for all. All right. Thank you, everyone. The Frostburg Historic District Commission implements the city's historic preservation overlay district of the Frostburg Zoning Ordinance, Section 4, as adopted in 2014, pursuant to the authority granted by the Maryland Land Use Article, Section 8, as adopted in 2012 of the Annotated Code of Maryland. This meeting is open to the public and is conducted in compliance with the State of Maryland's Open Meetings Act. LJ, could you move it up just a little bit? I'm sorry, me? sure. That's all right. There we go. The Frostburg Historic District Commission is charged with the preservation of historic structures and the surroundings within the designated district in order to safeguard the heritage of the city, stabilize and improve property values, strengthen the local economy, and foster civic beauty. This meeting is being held via Zoom and is streaming live on Facebook. Public comment was solicited via email to LJ Bennett, Director of Community Development. It is requested that all meeting attendees state their name prior to speaking to be accurately identified. Applicants, please state your name and address for the record. Josh Brett. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I have a little more to read first. <laughs> uh, please practice patience and kindness as we adapt to the new public meeting platform. We appreciate your help with that. All right, uh, we're gonna do the commissioner roll call. Uh, commissioner Detterman. I don't believe he's joined us. Oh, he is not. Uh, commissioner Raypan uh, is not present this evening. Commissioner Hoffman. Present. Commissioner Brewer. Here. Uh, I am the chair, Dawn Hine. And our alternate, Commissioner Filer, um, is not with us as well this evening. So, um, commissioners, if you would please review the agenda. And once you've had a moment to do that, if, you, if I could have a uh, motion uh, to approve. I'll make a motion to approve the agenda. This is Maureen Brewer. I'll make a, a motion to approve the agenda. Do I have a second? I will second. This is Joe Hoffman. All right. Having a motion and the second, all in favor, please say aye, or I guess we need to do the roll call. Commissioner Hoffman? Aye. Commissioner Brewer? Aye. And Commissioner Hine, Chair Hine? Aye. Thank you. Let the record show that's unanimous on the agenda. All right, so now let us uh, please look at the minutes from our previous meeting of July 13th, 2020. And um, after you've had a moment, if I could have a motion, please. Joe Hoffman, I move to approve the minutes from last meeting. Jim Brewer, I'll second that. All right, having a motion and a second, uh, if we could have roll call. Commissioner Hoffman. Aye. Commissioner Brewer. Aye. And Chair Hine. Aye. Thank you. We'll let the record show that was a unanimous vote on the minutes. All right, so now we can move on to our project presentations this evening. Um, so we have Josh and Heather Brailler for the building at 270 East Main Street 
um, in Frostburg. So um, if the two of you would please um, tell us about your project and what you're looking to do. Um, I think uh, LJ's got some of the information up on our screen as well with some pictures. Sure. Um, so this is Josh Brailler speaking. Oops, I'm back. <laughs> and um, we, th so the last time we had all met, uh, there we go. The last time we had all met, um, you know, I think we, we covered mostly everything um, except for the railing was one of the things. Um, you know, there were a couple different, uh, I, I guess, if I don't go with a certain material, but I went ahead and uh, sourced enough beadboard for the uh, um, mahogany stain ceiling. And then I found the, the round post to bring those back, um, the columns in the front, if you will, uh, amongst other things. So now we're just looking to complete the railing. And, and um, you know, I've looked at, I guess, a lot of different buildings um and try to find ideas a lot of them are you know some of the older historic buildings uh and railings i've found are quite intricate and i had a very difficult time finding anything like that um i, I did find i like the rounded ball baluster styles they're they're pretty fat round and the most i could find was um was at like a we were at like a consignment type store um in southern virginia and there was like seven foot two different sections that made up seven total feet and um so so the long and short of it is is what i've come up with is not you know i don't want it to be misconstrued as like a deck style picket it's going to be um um the I, I i get down with the cessnas a lot and it'll just be milled um wood but two by two and a half inch um, style pickets with a, a top rounded rail and uh, everything will be painted white. Um, so it's s simple yet, uh, you know, hopefully it fits, fits the style of the building. Um, okay. You know. So commissioners, I have some other photos for you. This this one on the screen now is from our inventory from 2013. And it, despite the fact that it's black and white, it gives you a good indication of how um, decrepit the siding had become. And, and, and you can kind of see the old metal rails there, mm -hmm. which were probably not the original no they were and, yeah they were the i'm sorry i didn't mean to interrupt oh it's you. okay josh go ahead yeah i think those were i found those and i was like well i'll try to find old pictures and that was the like the chintzier wrought iron style that looked like somebody had added at some point right 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 and up to this point um Josh and Heather, comments have been made in, in past meetings about what a wonderful job you've been doing and what a turnaround um, the commission had noticed on this project. And they asked me specifically to send you a letter of commendation. And so for the commissioners that may not have seen that letter, I just wanted to note that in the letter I wrote, the commission noted in a recent meeting that your progress on this project was truly remarkable and that you've made a significant improvement to a grand home in the historic district. And the commission commends you on your efforts. Thank you very Thank you. much. We really yeah, appreciate I it. wanted to just make that point in the public meeting. And then I also wanted to show you some of these other photos that I took just this morning. And that's a pretty amazing transformation considering the photo we just saw even though it was black and white um i think it's really impressive to see how this property has been brought back to life and here's um a close-up of the porch where you can imagine the wooden railings that mr brailler is proposing in this meeting mm -hmm. yeah, josh you have you guys have done a tremendous job. It's uh, absolutely gorgeous. Um, Thank you. And a question for you now, the railing uh, system that you're planning to put up, uh, will you continue that 
as the railing that goes down along the steps? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It'd be the same. Yeah. Yeah, I would use the same. Yeah, because I'm essentially just going to make it. Um, so then we can just continue, you know, with a 45 degree angle or to match that, to match the railing around there. And that's why the old c concrete stairs that we were talked about, uh, you know, in the past, I ended up just jackhammering those out. We weren't sure what to do with those. Um, you know, we were all talking, but so, so we just um, built the wide wooden style and matched the mahogany top boards and then the, did all the treads white. But as you can see there, the poster just kind of like in limbo, wait until I got, <laughs> till I could find something or get some approval because I had intended on matching that, matching those. I think it's a good choice. Yeah, well, thank you. Okay, good. <laughs> I was, it was tough because, you know, I was looking at a lot of, like some of the houses up, up past me. And, and I think that they've mainly just basically used a, like a one by six at some point and, and did like a jig design of some sort. And I thought about doing something like that, but it tends to get a little bit busy, you know, on, on something like the size of this house. There's already a lot of trim and architectural angles going on. So I thought something kind of simple and wood and refined might look, might look good so but i was interested to see what you guys had to say i think it's a good choice as well um when you don't know what was there i mean originally um you know keeping it simple i think is maybe the best choice yeah 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 absolutely Does the um, commissioners have any other questions for the applicant? Yeah, I have a question. Uh, actually, it doesn't have to do with the railing, but uh, what's your project uh, projected completion? Um, hopefully, two weeks. About two weeks. The upstairs, I have the upstairs completely done. Um, and then, um, so now it's just a matter of building the railing, the downstairs. Um, we had the city inspector, I had Bobby Bell come out today and um, uh, do the upstairs portion and then check everything downstairs to make sure we had all of our wiring and everything intact uh, and everything was up to code there. So. Um, we are just now finishing up a couple, a couple little things, um, it, from the downstairs perspective. I mean, I probably have four days and then I am going to do, I'm going to clean out and, um, paint, do some painting in the actual basement, uh, just to freshen it up a little bit down there, but then it's just a matter of getting the railing up and, and I'll be done. So, so, um, probably. I'm hoping not this week I have to jump on another project. So next week I would get, get my railing. Um, I think I would get it all finished and painted. And then I needed about another week on the inside or so, and I should be all done. So, and any of you guys are welcome to stop by if I'm ever there you can come in and get a tour. <laughs> oh, that'd be great. Yeah, I'm absolutely. Sure we'll have a tour of the house. Yeah, absolutely. Yep, for sure. Yeah. LJ, did we have any public comment? We did not. And I just checked both my um, regular email and my spam folders after even, you know, public advertisement on Facebook. I've received no public comment whatsoever. Okay, thank you. Hmm? Thank you. Um, commissioners, if there aren't any questions, um, are we ready for a vote? Make a motion. This is Joe Hoffman. I studied the application and all relevant documents and presentation related to this case. I'm familiar with the property in question. 
I find the proposed changes are compatible with the neighborhood. Because there is general compatibility of design, scale, proportion, arrangement, texture, and materials to be used. Based on these findings, I move to approve the proposal because the use of exterior materials are closely similar in appearance to original materials of significant buildings in the district pursuant to section 4.1.j.1.c. I second the motion this morning, Brewer. All right, um, having a motion and a second, can we do a roll call, please? Yes, uh, Commissioner Hoffman. Approve. Commissioner Brewer. Approve. And Chair Hine. Approve. Thank you. Let the record show unanimous approval of the porch railing at 270 East Main Street. Thank you, guys. Yep, thank you. Yeah, thank you for really joining nice. us. And you're welcome to stay throughout the remainder of the meeting. We have uh, one other item to discuss unless there's anything to bring up from the floor, as it were. <laughs> Josh and Heather, you might want to uh, sit in and, and, and consider putting a bid in on the, the nickel building and renovating it to the extent <laughs> house. I've considered it. <laughs> We've looked at it. <laughs> Great. Yeah, Great. <laughs> I wish there was a little bit more grant money involved. <laughs> Gonna, I know how much this one took me now, and I'm like, that's <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> so, but you never know. <laughs> Are well, you we look forward to hearing from you. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Um, old business. We. Looks like there is no old business this evening. Uh, no, Tara, I had nothing to bring forward on this meeting. Okay, uh, so then we can move on to new business, um, which is what we were just speaking of, the updated request for proposals for the Nickel Building. And I believe you have an updated RFP. I do. This was just updated in July and it's been out for possibly two weeks. I believe I've emailed it out to you and asked that you circulate it among your networks because we'd love to see an updated uh, proposal. This time, um, the grants have been, the small amount of grant money that we had in place has been removed. Um, okay. Currently, there are no grants or other incentives available for the building. The developer shall be able to seek grant funding and tax credits for which the developer is eligible. Potential tax credits include, but are not limited to, historic structure rehabilitation tax credits and enterprise zone tax credits. So I'm sure you're familiar with the Maryland Historic Trust tax credits that are offered on renovations. And enterprise zone um, is a great tax incentive for any kind of renovation and different types of employment that you can offer in a local business. There are um, property tax write-offs and income tax write-offs as part of that program. Okay. Yep, but the property is definitely still available. Um, as you're aware, we did a recent survey asking citizens' opinions on whether or not the building could be saved. <laughs> Um, if not, what were some suggestions? And there were a wide variety of answers. Um, some people felt strongly that the building should be demolished, but the overwhelming majority would really like to see it saved. That's good to hear. Yes. Could I ask what you guys or the city or most of the, I guess the citizens would like to 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 see happen with that or become are you hoping for more of like uh you know like commercial office space or you like would residential apartments work there residential apartments would work there an absolute dream come true would be a combination of mixed use um street level commercial upper story residential okay. as you i'm sure you can imagine a lot of improvements would be required to bring that up to code Right. Um, and in terms of people, according to the survey, people who felt it should be demolished, what they were hoping to see would be perhaps enhanced Main Street parking and green space. 
Okay. It's truly a unique building. It's got a long history. Um, if I can just scroll back here to one of my favorite pictures from the cyclone of 1891, where the top story was ripped off. Oh my gosh. Yeah. A lot of Frostburg was damaged during that cyclone, but this is an amazing original picture of the building and the open cartway. Mm -hmm. And then the damage to the third story that was then rebuilt after the cyclone. Hmm. Yeah, anyone who'd be interested in taking on this project, obviously they'd want to tour the facility. I, I have been through it and uh, it, in my opinion, has a lot of promise. Um, <laughs> the views from the third story are just incredible. incredible. <laughs> a lot of the additions on the back side of the building are just kind of shed type additions. And it's long been the opinion, and this might even be mentioned in the RFP somewhere, that they should just definitely be removed. Mm. We have advertised in Preservation Quarterly, and that's drummed up a good bit of interest but unfortunately we have yet to receive a solid proposal. Okay. And what is the date again? Is it September for the deadline for the September proposals? 15th. Um, yes, the new deadline is September 15th for proposals. Okay. And you can use this link on the agenda, or if you like, I can email you a separate link that will take anyone interested directly to materials on the website. There are um, a significant amount of exhibits also. That's probably, it's over a hundred pages of floor okay. plans and other related exhibits, but it gets into great detail. So if anyone's interested, that would be a good first step. Oh, well, I'd, be, I'd be interested if you could send, send me that link. Sure, I'd be happy to. All right, um, commissioners, do you have any other questions or items you'd like to bring forward? I'm good. Okay. Well, LJ, if there's nothing else, it looks like we're ready to adjourn for the evening. I would agree. We had a quick meeting this evening. Yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, might I have a motion to adjourn? I'll make a motion to adjourn. This is Maureen Brewer. Joe Huffman, I'll second. All and right. I will say one more time, Heather and Josh, well done. Yes, Thank very, very much. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. Nice to hear. Thanks. All right. LJ, you want to do roll call? Yes, please. Commissioner Hoffman. Aye. Commissioner Brewer. Aye. And Chair Hine. Aye. Thank you. Let the record show that was a unanimous vote to adjourn the meeting. Thanks very much, everyone. Hey, thanks, everyone. Good night. Good night. <laughs>